Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 with Southport. Today we're up against Gloucester. I don't know why we're playing Gloucester on camera. I think I just made a weird snap decision at the end of the last episode that we we're going to play Gloucester. So we're going to play Gloucester. In between episodes, we are undefeated. The problem is, three of those games have been FA Cup matches. We started off with a 1-1 draw against Basford. I don't know how we did so badly in this. We really didn't need a replay. We got a replay. We won the replay 3-0. Morgan, Homson, Smith and Raul Correa with the goals here. Back into the league. We only played two league games, actually, looking at it. Gideon Adu Prepper is the only goal scorer in our match up against AFC Telford. It was a 1-1 draw. Former Southampton youngster Tamar Fleary scores an absolute wonder goal against us in this one. Then up against Kings Lynn. It was a 3-2 victory. We scraped through in this one. Clayton Lewis, David Morgan and Jack Doyle with the goals for us. We were very, very lucky in this. And we were also very lucky up against AFC, filed a 3-2 victory here once again. Devante Aaron Sibia finally scoring a goal after a very long time. He has scored already this season, but he's not been particularly performing well. David Morgan also on the score sheet and an own goal from Tyler Forbes in the 88th minute to give us three points. It's not, it's a cup game to set up a first round match up against Salford. That is going to be a very difficult match to play. So I think we've only played two league games in between episodes and we are still up at the right end of the table, up in third place. 25 points to our name. We are up against Gloucester today. A victory could potentially move us up into second place. We need York to start losing some games. Who are York playing? They're not even playing. What's going on? York aren't playing until Saturday the 26th of October where they have Blythe, who are, where are Blythe? Mid-table. I can't see York losing any games. We've also done a little bit of transfer business. Two lone players have joined the club. Harry Woodward, who was the player who I looked at at the end of last episode and tried to get him, getting him in on loan. He has joined on loan. The board hate him because they reckon he's not very good. He's played two games already in the league, got two assists, played three in the FA Cup, got one assist. I think he's actually a good signing. The board know nothing about transfers. We have also signed Welsh central midfielder, who is actually going to be more of an attacking midfielder to give, um, what's his name, Devante Aaron Sibia a little bit of uh, a bit of competition. Is Iwan Murray or Ivan Murray? I'm not quite sure how you'd say it. He's just going to be called Murray from now on. Signing on loan from Chester. We're paying a little bit of money from £180 a week. He's got some ability, two and a half star. Probably not going to be kicking Aaron Sibia out of the starting eleven, but he'll be sat on the bench ready to take that position. Also, he's 14 at free kicks. That's good that we've got a free kick taker. Just seen he's five foot four. He's smaller than me and I'm a small human. Right, let's get into the match then up against Gloucester who are in woeful form. We are in strong form. We are literally the opposite, aren't we? We've won three and drawn two. They've won, they've lost three, sorry, and drawn two. Let's hope we can continue this embarrassment for Gloucester and they can fall further down the table. The starting lineup we will be going for then in goal will be Brad Watkins, a back three of Michael Parker, Gideon Adu Prepper, and Nathan Baxter. We basically, where we play three defenders, and we've played a lot of fixtures recently, they're getting very tired. Michael Parker probably shouldn't be playing in this one, but we don't really have too much of a choice. The wing backs will be Harry Woodard and Bradley Barris. Is it Woodard or Woodward? It's Woodward. It's a very difficult name to say. Central midfield will be David Morgan and Clayton Lewis. Are you better around the other way? You are. Why did why did I put them that way around? Clayton Lewis and David Morgan. Devante Aaron Sibia will be the attacker midfielder. George Newell and Raul Correa will be the strikers. On the bench we do have Murray, Astles, Glynn, Sampson and Ruben Samet. I have decided to commit to this not having a goalkeeper on the bench. I'm thinking for lower league football it's probably a risk worth taking. When we start being able to have seven subs, particularly in like FA Cup games as well, I'm actually having a, uh, a goalkeeper on the bench. But for league matches, I think we're just going to have to deal with it. We've probably got someone who's competent enough in goal. Well, we're 15 minutes in. We've had nothing. No highlights. Time to give them a shout. Demand more, please. We've got a highlight. Oh, what is this? What is this? There is a bloody floodlight in the way. Gloucester with the ball into our area. Jackson goes for goal on the volley. That floodlight is right in the way. That's awkward. It's going to be there all game, isn't it? Watkins with the ball to Parker. I've got no idea if we've got anyone in left back. Woodward now to Lewis. Is there going to be another floodlight at the other end of the pitch blocking the view? Lewis, ball over the top. Newell's going to run onto it. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Georgie Newell puts it into the back of the net. We are 1-0 up against Gloucester. Away from home, 20 minutes on the clock. Good finish from George Newell. 
Not going to lie, I'm massively distracted by the fact there's a massive floodlight in the way. Jackson with the ball, crosses in, Parker heads clear, only as far as Robert. Now Knowles, who's going to play it backwards to Tom Hanks. Now Harper on the left, it's probably not Tom Hanks, although if it is, that's amazing. I think the ball's gone in, it has, it's Fabian Robert. Is he, is he French? Is he Fabian Robert? Maybe he's Fabian Robert. That floodlight, who, who come up with this camera angle? Is there anything I can do? Can I change the, because we're on director cam, I can't. Is TV the camera angle that we have? Is that the one that we that we play? I don't think it is. I don't know what camera angle we have. We're just going to have to stick with director and deal with these bloody floodlights in the way. Bowers' throw finds Morgan in the area, crosses in. Nobody is there. Harper can get the ball clear. Lewis collects it. The New Zealand international. Where is he going to go? He's being pressured. Has to go backwards. No, he doesn't actually. He plays it all the way across to makeshift left back Bowers. Morgan. Bowers once again. Raul Carrera is going to hopefully get on the end of it. He doesn't. Avery makes a wonderful tackle. And potentially a break for Gloucester is on. Jackson. Is he going to go round his man? Doesn't. Plays it back to Harper. Now Hanks. I want to find out, is his name Tom Hanks? Someone's played the ball forward, it was Harper. Woodward is going to collect it. Plays it back to the keeper? Yes, he does. Watkins forward on the left now with Bradley Bowers. We're passing it around, and we're just lumping the ball up now. Okay, Correa, he's got Newell in the middle. Why did he not go for... Why didn't he pass it? Why did he not pass it? We've still got the ball. Woodward to Lewis. Back to Woodward, the right back, on loan from somewhere. Not even sure where. Tries to cross it in. Goes out for a throw. How have we not scored that goal? Parker with a free kick deep, deep in our own half. Woodward heads down to Lewis. Lewis forward, Woodward on the right. He's got Newell making a run, potentially Raul Correa as well. Morgan in the centre circle, across to Bowers on the left. Bowers is actually doing a great job as a makeshift left back, partially because he doesn't defend a lot and actually just goes forward. Bowers in the area, tries to cross it in with his right foot, can't manage it, and now potentially the break is on until Baxter can intercept it. He's just smashed it into the area, headed down. Newell on the volley, why did he volley that? What went through his head? He must have decisions of like two. Almost at half time, we've got to throw Woodward into the area. Hanks clears it. Morgan collects. Woodward wants it back. Lewis actually gets it in front of him. Morgan again. Now Woodward crosses in. Nobody's there at the back. Correa's going to collect it. Barros is there. Please. There you go. Pass it to Barros. Newell is there. He's not going to go for it. Are we going to collect it? Come on, Woodward. Come on. Whip it in. There you go. Correa's there. It's taken a deflection. Raul Correa is claiming the goal. Probably not his goal. His 16th goal of the season we are just about in front that was a very strange goal but I'm happy it's gone in and at half time it is 2-1 I've just realized why we've got some floodlights in the way um they have no stand there I don't know if there's construction going on here is it this stand or is it th yeah it must be this stand here is there construction going on which means there's no cameras in there Right, we're doing no changes at half time. We've got a very early free kick. Ball into the back. Michael Parker is there, I think it was. It's saved by the goalkeeper. It wasn't saved. It was over the bar or hit the bar or something like that. Throw for Bradley Bowers to take. Devante Aaron Sibia, who we've not seen all game. Literally, first time we've said his name in 55 minutes. Correa collects it. He's going straight for goal. He's going to go for goal. And it is, is it G-Cock? G-Cock with the save. A couple of minutes later, we have another highlight. Aaron Sibby has just smashed the ball up to the halfway line. Bowers has it now. Is he going to go around his man? Number two. Can he do it? He's picked up a yellow card. I don't know when that happened. I think it's recently. What a ball that is. Woodward's at the back post. It's missed. I think it's saved. It's saved. I think it's saved. It's a corner. I'm not sure why we are still seeing this highlight take place in real time. We watch Woodward walk over to the corner flag. Someone's kicked the ball towards him. He's picked it up. He's put it on the spot now. Okay. Harry Woodward to take the corner. It's towards the middle. Lewis was there. Williams gets it clear. Aaron Sibia collects it, though, for Southport. Now Parker, and the highlight just ends. That was weird. Right, Aaron Sibia is coming off. Murray will be coming on. He's a much more natural advanced playmaker as well, which is always handy. Don't think we need to do a huge amount of changes. We're starting to get a quite settled team. We are 16 games into the season. We've probably played 20 in total. And our team is actually starting to look very settled. Woodward is on a 7.9. 10 minutes left to play. Woodward is now going to be coming off because he's absolutely knackered. We've got no right backs. We're going to have to just pick someone at random and stick them in right back, aren't we? Right, I don't know whether this is a good idea. We've stuck Lewis as a right back. He's okay at crossing, 10 at crossing. The other option is Kieran Glynn, who we've just brought on. He's more of a winger. Glynn's going to be our right back. We'll put you two back the way you were. I don't know why I didn't put Glynn there in the first place. He started our season as the right back. We've got 
Four minutes to play. Robert to Knowles on the right. Tries to cross it in. Can't manage it. Robert does. Parker heads clear though. Lewis now. Where is he going to go? Down the right. Gets tackled. He's hopefully going to get there first. No, he doesn't. It's uh, Kotwisa with the ball. Bowers back to Watkins. We need to really get this as our highlight and not theirs. Kotwisa with it inside his own half. Forward to Glynn though. Lewis. Now Murray, Newell, he's got a couple of runners. Morgan is one of them. He's going. He's just stopped the ball. He just stopped the play completely. Goes for a very long shot, hits it wide of the post. I guess that's better than a Gloucester chance. We've got three minutes or two and a, sorry, yeah, three and a half minutes to play. Murray with the ball. Lewis over the top. Glynn on the right hand side. The ginger wizard. He's got two in the middle. Is he going to cross it in? He's maybe. Newell had it possibly. Not sure what's going on. Barris has gone for goal. We've we've scored. We've definitely scored. I, I can't tell what's happened. I think I've realised next time we play Gloucester away from home, we're not actually having this match on camera because I can't tell what's happening and it makes commentating really bloody difficult. It's a 3-1 victory. Good. That's all that really matters. Aaron Sibia isn't doing very well. Maybe, this is just a thought, maybe that attacking midfielder position isn't, isn't useful. Maybe I need to move them somewhere else. Maybe just in the centre of midfield. Well, that victory then moves us up into second place. Kidderminster have gone into third. Sorry, sorry not Kidderminster. Kettering into third. Kidderminster into fourth. How have we moved up if everyone else around us also won? How does that work? Was it Chester? Did Chester... Were Chester above us originally and they just haven't played? Maybe that's what it is. Pierce goes bargain hunting. 20 games into life with Southport. And it's safe to say that Stuart Pierce bid to overhaul the first team squad at Hague Avenue is well underway with no fewer than seven players arriving on free transfers. Most of them are actually playing as well. Right, hear me out with my tactic changes. I don't know whether this is a good idea, but what I'm thinking is we just literally do that. Just have a central midfielder. Just make make a nuisance of yourself in the middle of the pitch. It might not be a central midfielder. I might change it completely, but we will see. That is going to do it then for this episode. Next episode, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be going for Salford. I was going to do Curzon Ashton. Instead, we're going to do Salford. And then we're probably going to do York as well in the same day. So it'll be a double upload day tomorrow. Salford first. York, tabletopping York. That is a potential six-pointer. If we can get, get a victory against York, that would be superb. Obviously, the matchup against Salford as well, being an FA Cup game, would be really useful to win. Financially, we are looking okay. We're actually in the black at the moment, partially because of FA Cup matches, basically. that's We've got 30 grand from winning FA Cup games. So if we get another victory against Salford, that's another, I think it's about £36,000 into the coffers, which will be very helpful for a team who only have £15,000 currently. That is going to do it then for today's episode. If you did enjoy this episode, do remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll be back tomorrow with the matchup against Salford and then another one up against Table Topping York.